Many of us use computers often, whether it's at home, school, or at work. These complex machines allow us to do our schoolwork, play games, and create cool projects. It almost seems like magic how everything just works on a computer when you turn it on or even perform a task on it. Have you ever seen the inside of a computer and wondered what are all the different parts are? I have, and I'm sure you have too. In today's video, we will go over the basic parts of the computer and explore their function and importance. Before we get started, please remember to subscribe to my channel and tell all of your friends and family to subscribe too. If you like this video, remember to hit the like button down below. And now, let's get started. There are many parts of the computer that work together to allow it to function. Today, we will focus on the main parts, the power supply unit, the motherboard, the central processing unit or CPU, random access memory or RAM, the hard drive, the graphics processing unit or GPU, and the case. Let's take a look at each one. The first component we will explore is the power supply unit or the PSU. This part of the computer takes power supplied by an electrical outlet and converts it into DC current which is what computer needs to power its internal components. Pause! Just taking a moment to give you a shameless plug to watch my video on what are electric circuits to learn more about AC current and DC current. Okay, now back to the video. The PSU also regulates the flow of electrical current for the computer. Think of the PSU like the energy needed for our bodies to function properly. The motherboard is a very important part of the computer. It is essentially a circuit board that allows any electronic components of a computer to communicate with each other, like the CPU and RAM, which we'll talk about in a moment. Just like our nervous system allows us to communicate signals throughout our body, the motherboard does the same for the computer, allowing information to be passed between computers' internal components. The central processing unit is also known as a CPU. Why is the CPU important? It is basically the brains of the computer or the control center. The CPU processes all tasks or instructions from the computer components, computer programs, and even operating systems. It performs billions of tasks per second, which means it works at lightning speeds. Although CPUs work very fast, they don't have the ability to store a lot of data for a long period of time. They typically only store the data that they are using in the moment. So where does the computer store the rest of the data that programs are currently using? That brings us to our next component, RAM. What is RAM? No, it's not a male sheep or even the Los Angeles Rams. It is an acronym that stands for Random Access Memory. The RAM is a computer component that stores data and code that the CPU is using in real time. What does this mean exactly? Let's say you want to load a website like YouTube into your browser. When you do this, the computer uses memory and the data is stored in the RAM until you get tired of watching a million YouTube videos and you finally decide to close your web browser. The capacity of RAM is measured in gigabytes, and typically RAM has between 8 to 32 gigabytes of storage, but there could be even more than that. You've probably heard the term hard drive, but what is it exactly? The hard drive is the location where all your data is permanently stored. This is different than RAM, remember. RAM is temporary storage, while hard drive is a long-term storage. Hard drives have a lot of capacity for storing data. This capacity is measured in gigabytes. Standard computers come with 128, 256, or 512 gigabytes, just to give you an idea of how much storage hard drives can have. Common items that may be stored on a hard drive are photos, videos, apps, and even your operating system. Next, we have the Graphics Processing Unit, or the GPU. A GPU is a processor that accelerates rendering or generation of images, graphics, videos, and or animations for display on your computer screen. The CPU transmits data to the GPU, and the GPU processes this information in the form of pixels to create the image. Pixels are those small dots or squares on your computer that collectively show a digital image. Finally, the last computer part we will talk about today is the case. The case is nothing more than a piece of metal or plastic that encloses the computer. It keeps all the internal parts safe from damage. Think of the case like the skin on your body that protects all of your important organs. Now you know about the seven key parts of the computer. 
Thanks for joining me in this STEM Edge adventure. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and drop a like down below. Also, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter too. See you next time.